Egregors of the Past, the first catalog of entities from hyperspace is being compiled by scientists with the help of AI technology. Back in 2020, an online survey of 2,561 people who had ever used DMT found that the sensations during the session, quote unquote, and its effects on the psyche are similar to those of religious revelations and impressions of alien abduction, according to the journal Psychopharmacology. DMTs use often causes visions of entities, elves, dwarves, gods, or other animated beings, which are often difficult to describe. Entities often resemble characters and stories of religious or revelations or alien abductions, perhaps even from other universes and dimensions, and reactions to their appearance include the feeling of enlightenment. Numerous descriptions of DMT trips testified to this, but they were practically not systemized, uh, systemized before. And now veteran psychedelic researchers affiliated with the Interdisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, MAPS, MAPS for short, David J. Brown, has teamed up with artist Sarah Finn to catalog these entities in a new field guide, a similar guide to interdimensional cryptozoology. As interest in the once obscure drug grows among scientists and becomes more accessible due to its popularity, Brown and Finn set about collecting user reports of their sightings of various extradimensional entities. Some of these DMT entities Reports have come from such serious and respected places as the University of New Mexico, John Hopkins University, Imperial College London, a new report from the Center for Psychedelic Research at Imperial College London on enhanced DMT travel says that the new drug techno technology allows you to stay in hyperspace, quote unquote, for up to 10 minutes of real time although people who have used DMT have personally felt their experience lasted years and even centuries. Historically, the first psychedelics were rediscovered in the 1930s in the synthesis of LSD and then a few years later DMT. In reality, people have been using these and similar substances for centuries, if not millennia, but the officials traditionally consider everything seen by psychedelic travelers as hallucinations and did not attach much importance to them. Unlike the U.S. military and adherents from the Third Reich, who treated the issue in an adult way, the boom in these studies of the military was in the, in the 1960s after such a top, this topic was officially covered up and they began to actively fight against citizens who took psychedelics in private. Some were even put in shackles so that they would not drag magic pills into their mouths. Although now we see the fad is returning and the topic will be actively explored again. There is really a lot to explore here. So if you take any decent Hollywood movie like The Matrix, Aliens or Predator, it turns out that the concepts for digital, digital scenery were drawn by people who were high, the authors of the script, and even computer graphic specialists have nothing to do with these wonderful landscapes. The biggest problem for psychedelic travel virtuosos is to draw or retell what they saw because during the moments of taking psychedelics, the brain works to its fullest and upon returning back with 2% of the brain base brain activity, it's quite difficult to interpret experiences. Sarah Finn mentioned in the article uses artificial intelligence for interpretation, which more or less correctly draws the worlds visited by the artist. Most likely these worlds really exist somewhere, since the same hallucinations cannot be experienced by different people, and this is a topic of course for research, which in the future will allow us to try to drag a lot of things into our familiar world. David Brown, in an interview with Vice.com, expresses a timid hope that maybe these fabulous creatures from hyperspace will prompt an incredible level of technology to humanity. The U.S. military, having taken up the topic of LSD in the 1950s, officially closed the topic 
they probably did not really t uh, stop research and most un uh, likely extraterrestrials from the warp gave them some cool devices. This is even more likely that uh, various secret societies sent messages into the immaterium a thousand or more years ago and each time they brought something interesting therefore the general knowledge base of Vatican may have may be larger than knowledge base in the Pentagon itself. This is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.